All right, look at Uber and Lyft. They won a major victory in California. Proposition 22 passed. Wide margin, it passed in California, meaning the drivers for rideshare companies will be counted as independent contractors, not employees worthy of benefits. Larry Elder, Salem Radio talk show host, joins <laughs> us now. Finally, the people of California did something right. I am shocked, Larry, shocked. Well, guess what, Stuart? There is some intelligent life here in California. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Proposition 22, uh, the, uh, that would have uh, uh, made exempt uh, Uber and Lyft and so-called gig workers from the uh, bill that was passed and, and uh, laws that would have made these independent contractors uh, employees, which would have completely destroyed the whole business model behind Uber and Lyft and DoorDash. Uh, in Postmates, uh, they would have just left California. Uh, and uh, it's not just this proposition as well. There was also a proposition that would have added um, property taxes on, uh, on commercial uh, owners of, of real estate. That went down. And we also look like we're going to pick up a couple of house seats in Orange County, for crying out loud. So again, intelligent life in the great state of California, Stuart. Maybe, just maybe, I might stay a little longer. <laughs> However, as I read the numbers last night, California went for Biden by better than 30 points. I think I'm accurate there. It was a total landslide for Biden. And that was expected, wasn't it? That was expected. I think I've told you before about the only public figure uh, who's less popular than Donald Trump in California might be Charlie Manson. Outside of that, the man, <laughs> the man is not very well liked here in the state of California. But as you heard, the stock market up 500 points because worst case scenario, the Republicans have retained control of the Senate. So even if there is a President Biden, he will have to play within the hash marks. He won't be able to enact the, uh, the far left uh, uh, AOC driven New Green Deal uh, agenda. So. All this is, is pretty good news for America, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, apart from the landslide win in California for Biden, is there any other sign that California's politics may be norming up a little and maybe coming back to center as opposed to way out there on the left? I think so. As I mentioned, in Orange County, uh, we got wiped out in 2018. Looks like we're going to get a couple of seats back. So I think the Republicans are now starting to figure out how to play this ballot harvesting game, which is perfectly legal, maybe unethical, but perfectly legal. And the Republicans uh, got their brains kicked in uh, with ballot harvesting last time. They figured out how to play the game this time. So I think things are going to be a little bit better. However, uh, there are still super majorities in the state assembly and the state uh, Senate, so Republicans need not go to work. Even if the uh, left-wing governor were to veto a bill coming out of the left-wing legislature, the left-wing legislature has the votes to override it. So it's still California, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, so true. It is. You know, you got a big smile on your face when we started this morning. I thought maybe, maybe there's a real progress here. On Prop 22, that was progress. And we'll take what we can get. Right. Thanks, Larry. We'll See we'll you soon. It.